So news came out that Juice WRLD's music catalog was sold for upwards of $100 million, and his last album, The Party Never Ends, was officially announced. So recently, Billboard published an article about what might be the biggest deal in SoundCloud history. The late rapper Juice WRLD's music catalog, including hundreds of unreleased tracks, was quietly sold to the Opus Music Group for a nine-figure deal. That's right, $100 million. The deal includes 90% of Juice WRLD's master income and 90% of his publishing ownership. This comes a few months after Juice's cousin publicly stated that everyone around Juice, including his label, was using him. While he didn't say what label, Juice was signed to Interscope under Lil Bibby for $3 million, and in the end, it seems like Lil Bibby profited the most, ultimately landing a nine-figure deal as a result of selling Juice's music after his death. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'm not talking down Lil Bibby, that's just something I noticed. Opus Music Group is a New York-based investment management company backed by Elliott Management, with one of the largest activist funds in the world. The group only has three artists under them, including Juice, Maluma, and Raul Alejandro from Puerto Rico. This deal sparked some concerns among fans and followers who were worried about the future of Juice's music. Some were worried that the company might milk his catalog for all it's worth, releasing one album after another for years to come, in an effort to profit as much as they possibly can. But there's also those who are proud of Juice's achievements and hope his music will continue to be appreciated for the foreseeable future. Fans are hoping that the creative side of Juice's future projects will be controlled by somebody who could ultimately put them together like or as close to the way Juice would have. Which brings us to his long-awaited last album, The Party Never Ends. Fans have been eagerly anticipating this release since Bibby announced that the final album was in the works on Instagram. According to Bibby, the album is going to be a celebration of Juice's life, and the team behind it wants to make sure that it feels like a party. This is a bittersweet moment for fans as it marks the end of an era, but it's also the chance to pay tribute to one of the greatest artists of our era. There have been a lot of rumors and speculations surrounding the release of The Party Never Ends, and some believe that we could see an EP or singles from Juice in the near future, but the most likely scenario is that we'll get a single on his birthday or the day of his passing. Fans who pre-ordered the digital album on Juice's website were pleased to find out that the orders were starting to get shipped. People were getting emails confirming that their digital album is coming soon, which could mean that the album is releasing sooner than we expect. The release of The Party Never Ends marks the end of an era, and we're going to miss Juice World's music and the impact he had on the rap industry, but we're also excited to celebrate his life and legacy through his final album. Get ready to party like it's 999 because the last gift of Juice World is coming very soon. Leave a like if you're going to be listening to the album and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. That's all I wanted to cover today. I'm Six Cotty and this is Cole Following. See you next time.